Hey guys, I want to show you the Derwent Inktense Blocks, the 72 pack. And I use these a lot. I really, really love the Inktense Blocks. I have these as well as the Inktense Pencils, so I can kind of give you a comparison between the two as well as far as what I see. Um, but first, I want to show you a tip. You definitely want to consider making some kind of color chart. And what I did is I went through each one of the colors and I wrote the number next to it. Um, and then I would put the colors here with the number. So when I would look here, say I'm looking for a specific yellow or red, I can find the color that I need and then go and find it in my, uh, my blocks, my set, and use that for whatever I'm working on. Now, this also helps me to see which ones might be a little bit more grainy. And I'm not sure if you can tell on this, but some things like my number 610 or 740 or 710, some of those are a bit grainier than the other ones. And so sometimes that makes a difference in what I am painting as far as whether I want them in there. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to use them. Some people will pick them right up and use them. I don't like to do that. That's not really my style. So I usually just add water to whatever one it is and then add it to my paper. So I'll show you in just a second here. Okay, so I'm gonna use a water brush pen and what I'm gonna do is just squeeze out some of the water to activate the color. And obviously the more water you have, the more pigmented it's going to be. So that is the purple. We'll use maybe this red, but I really love these pigmented inks. They just add such a lovely effect when you're painting. They're very convenient to use and they're just really unique. So maybe you're wondering what's the difference between the Inktense blocks and the pencils. Actually, I think they work really well together. When you're using the pencils, I really like how there isn't as much of the grain in the color, um, but you have to use a lot more and you're coloring a lot more. So it really depends on what you're using them for. Whereas in, if you're doing big blocks of color or you want it to be more like a watercolor, uh, you might do something like using the Inktense blocks. So I like them for the different projects that they are used for, but I do think that there's a little bit more grain in the blocks than there is in the pencils, but the blocks offer a lot more versatility than the pencils do. So just some things to consider as you're thinking about Inktense, but I've been really happy with the Derwent Inktense pencils and blocks. Uh, the blocks really are wonderful. I would highly recommend them. I really use them a lot. My kids use them a lot. They are definitely worth it in my opinion. And I love that they have the two trays also and that it can easily come out so my kids can easily find the colors they want. It really has been wonderful.